Hi everyone, Stephen Kilag here. Sorry I've been away for a couple of weeks, uh, but I've been very busy with my business and I've been doing a lot of one-on-one uh, -on -one mentoring and a lot of things that I've, I've come across and this I want to share with you tonight. And if you like my message, please comment and subscribe. I try my best always to reply to your comments and I, I thank you for the new subscribers. We're almost up to 600 subscribers on my channel. Keep it coming. We're having some more interviews coming up. But first and foremost, I'd like to talk about excuses. A lot of people I mentor and talk to, they come up with excuses for everything. Uh, especially losing weight. They say, oh, me tired, I me not have time. Bullshit. And then um, oh, they complain that the business is struggling because um, they're not disciplined enough. That's why when I talk to my the people I mentor, I just give it straight up to them. There's no pussy footing around. There's no soft talking. Oh, I'm not. You work Muslims. No, no, no. It's just telling them straight up. And that's what I do. I like to tell you straight up because I don't want to waste my time and waste your time. Because if I tell you something and you don't do it, then stop wasting my time. Continue to be unsuccessful. So I see myself as a life coach. And what I try to tell people is the message today is stop making excuses for everything. Um, if you're not going to the gym, it's because you have a loser mentality. And if you don't, if you're not successful in business, it's because you're soft. You let your one talks walk all over you. You work, let your families walk all over you. You give in easily. So any problem blew you, no worry blew you. So don't complain if your business is not, is not, is, is not successful. A lot, of, a lot of times, me look at starting business, they're not willing to do the hard yards. Or not willing to lose some work. Or if you're working uh, from eight to five, Okay, five o'clock you come up, you set him up basically, what are you doing? Make sure that all boys work and then you use your business to pay for the two or three people. Let's say if you've got a pest pest control company. Okay, you do your eight to five, come back, see if you, what you can do. Mix this, the chemicals, drop the boys at night. Do whatever you need to do to make sure that business keeps running. Now when the business starts running, you pay your employees, you pay your fuel consumption, you pay your uh, costs. And the little that you make, you save aside. Don't think that me, leader boss, and I go and uh, spend it myself, go play pokies. So if you have bad habits as a businessman, and you expect, you're asking, why am I not doing so well? This is where I come in, and I tell you, I look at everything that you do, then I just tell you, look, you're a pokey addict, and you've got too many girlfriends, and no one wants to tell you to your face that this is what you're doing. You're spending extra money in hotels, with your concubines, you're giving too much money to the village, which has nothing to do with your business. And those are the little things, advice that I give a lot of people. So the reason why we're all not successful in life, in whatever goals and ambitions we want to do, because we don't put the extra yard, we don't work extra hard. Now everyone around us is skinning on, is threading on ice. Because we're doing some sort of small business or maybe like Bikla Mangi and also Bikla Meri. Uh, everyone's being polite and that's the problem with Papua New Guinea we're just too polite we don't want to shake up we don't want to shake things up so that's why I come in I tell people look the reason I look them straight in the eyes so look the reason why you are not successful is because you waste time you're you're a bullshit artist so you're not actually working hard enough you work two hours a day and expect to be successful so this is what I mean Papua New Guinea we tend to bullshit a lot. We don't get our hands dirty. And the people who do get their hands dirty, they're very successful. I mean, you look at um, uh, Governor Robert Agarobe. He's a guy who gets his hands dirty. He, he, he does the hard work. And look how successful he is. There's no trick or there's no magic to it. If you work your ass off, put your head down and be humble and don't have a social life, the next 10 years, your business will grow. And if you want a good body, go and get it. Like I have, like I have really worked out for the one year, and I'm I, I preach what I I practice what I preach. If I want to, I'm, I'm going to be Mr. PNG, and those are the things that I do every day. I work at it. I go to the gym every day, and it's become a habit. So habits take 30 days to start, and it becomes a permanent habit after 90 days. So if you want to start going to the gym, go for three months. After three months, it becomes a habit. You start enjoying it. Just like working hard. If you want to work hard, if you work hard at work, 
after one year, you, you, you wake up at six o'clock or four o'clock in the morning, it becomes a habit. I sleep at three o'clock in the morning every night and I wake up at eight o'clock and it's become a habit. So create those winning habits in your life. Stop bullshitting to yourself. Stop thinking you're entitled to be a leader, to do extra activities, play pokies or whatever you do. Whatever access things you do that's creating a negative effect into your business or into your life, that's what you need to stop and just cut the bullshit in your life. So that's that's an advice that I, I give a lot of people that I mentor. Um, a lot of them don't like what I tell them, but who cares because I don't want to waste my time, waste my breath, um, blowing smoke up their ass. It's good to tell people straight up and they either take the good advice or they ignore it and become keep on becoming uh, being losers like they are unsuccessful people so i see myself as a life coach and that's something that i i we're perfecting and we're working on towards joshua and evelyn are currently working with me my two staff in mosby and that's what we're trying to do now we're trying to perfect that stage to talk to more people about um giving them straight up advice and not sugarcoating things um that's what we Papuanians need and it's unfortunate that our education system hasn't uh um, taught that in a lot, lot of schools. So I'm um, looking forward to working with every uh, every one of you guys in Port Mosby. Please uh, inbox me. Um, see Joshua. We try to organize some group meetings. Uh, I had a powerful session with a group of ladies at Lamana three weeks ago. It was very eye-opening. We talked about self-confidence and uh, paradigms. And those are other th teachings that we can talk to about. But first and foremost, stop the bullshit, stop the excuses and get your life back if you like this message please comment subscribe if you want to know anything uh, if you need uh please also comment and i'll i'll uh, see what i can do to help you out anyway have a powerful day Stephen kalagi here peace out